while Days of Our Lives is not in last place for the first time this year in 2022, but in June it is still in 10th place, and despite Days not being in last place, this actually might be my most negative Days video yet. I put General Hospital in last place because I think in the short term, GH is looking bleak. There's nothing to look forward to. Every single story on General Hospital sucks. There's no energy. There's very little movement. But I think that if General Hospital had new energy, aka if Frank Valentini were to get fired and replaced, I actually think General Hospital could at least improve. And so while, while Days finally is done with most of their awful stories, although they've moved on to some equally awful stories, I think for the short term, Days might be able to find some entertainment. But long term, I fear Days is in trouble. I genuinely feel this way. And I know people have felt this way for like two fucking decades with Days, and yet it's survived. I think they have a good enough relationship with NBC to stick around, especially if the Beyond Salem continues to be a decent hit for Peacock, then I think Days is good for the foreseeable future. But if not, if some of those relationships go away or if Beyond Salem starts to fall at Peacock, then Days could be in trouble. Days has had many patterns of some of the things that have killed other soap operas over the years. And the main thing for Days is that the main family, the Hortons, are kind of decimated at this point. The fact that Ron killed both Bill and Laura was already bad. But now to kill off Abby... A legacy character is an odd choice and possibly one of the final nails in Day's coffin. I really feel that way because other PAL soap operas have done similar things, killing off key characters at the wrong time proved to be eventually fatal. And then there's the other edge of the coin that even if, you know, it's Days of Our Lives and Abby could come back alive at any point, yes, that's possible. But at this point, Days has used that so many times that it's even made this Abigail death feel like who gives a shit. So it's two different sides of the same coin. On, on one side, they've killed off Abby, allegedly for good. If you listen to Ron, that's if Ron's around for good. But they've killed off Abby, who is a legacy character, who is a blood hoarden, which I think was a really bad decision. But then at the same time, them killing her off, you know, this show has a reputation for bringing everybody back to life. That it's hard to really muster any care for the story in the first place because of that reason. And that's why I just think Days is in this really tough spot where I just don't even know if they are able to keep their stakes high. You know, shows need high stakes to be engaging, to be entertaining. Days completely lacks stakes these days. And that's a problem with Ron's writing and everywhere he's gone. I feel like eventually the stakes on his show feel so low because nothing seems to matter. It's very similar to The Bold and the Beautiful, honestly. So overall, I just feel like killing off Abby was a mistake either way because it's not going to get any ratings for killing off of such a big character. And yeah, they just killed off a legacy character just, just to kill off a legacy character. But yeah, they will let Trip leave. So Abby can't leave the show, but Trip could leave the show, who's a retcon child. But an actual legacy character, blood character, who we saw born on screen on Days of Our Lives, just kill her off. These are the, the mistakes that soap operas make and have made for so long that got a lot of them eventually canceled because of dumb decisions like this. And the build of the story was terrible. There was no real build to this whodunit. If they wanted to tell a compelling whodunit, they failed at that regard too. So they killed off Abby without even a good buildup. 
if they have characters like Lucas as a sus a suspect, like are they going to further uh, destroy the character of Lucas, who by the way is also a Blood Horton? I also didn't like Ron's excuse for why he killed off Abby and the fact that Marcy wanted to leave the show but possibly come back at recurring at times. Yet he's let so many other characters come back recurring, most notably Sammy, even though Sammy coming and going has hurt the characters of Lucas and EJ from going anywhere super compelling. So there's really no rhyme or reason to any of this. I mean, Ron's excuse, and I'm calling it an excuse and not an explanation, because in the same storyline, not even Missy Reeves is playing Jennifer. So they brought a recasted Jennifer to play out these scenes of Abby dying while giving the excuse that they had to kill off Abby because Marcy Miller wanted to leave. But they bring all these other... It just, it just doesn't make any sense. It's just a bad excuse from a very bad writer. <laughs> Ron Carlovati only has two modes. One mode is he retells all of his stories, and some of them might be entertaining at least. Or he re retells all his stories, and they're all horrible. And in recent time on the show, they've all been horrible. All of his retells have been horrible. The most overrated writer in the history of soap operas is Ron Carlovati. Now, the one, the main reason I put Days ahead of General Hospital, and I went back and forth to which one really deserved last place. It was tough. It came. I did not make this decision until uh, a few minutes before I recorded the General Hospital video, of which which show I was going to put in last place. So Days was still close to last place. But I have to give Days credit because unlike the other four soap operas, they have managed to actually create a compelling black family on this show. And I feel like all of the other remaining soaps have struggled to write their minorities at all. Or they all just become tokens or they all they try to write them like sidekicks like General Hospital. But Days has built this family around Abe, who's been on the show for so long, but also Jackie Harry. I think that's another reason why Ron is compelled to write for Abe's family and Paulina's family. But I like that we actually had, and I say had in past tense because I'll get to that, but I like that we actually had a black family on Days of Our Lives for really the first time ever in its history that was actually getting a bunch of B stories at least. I don't know if they ever quite made A story stories. Maybe for a while Paulina's story in 2021 wasn't A story. Part of the reason why I enjoyed 2021 until the possession, honestly. But yeah, because mostly in the, in the history of American soap operas, you know, there's been periods of all my children where minority characters had compelling stories periods on one life to live the 90s on young and the restless the 90s on guiding light but outside of that uh, you know all of the remaining soaps outside of young and the restless have struggled to have any really compelling minority characters so i've appreciated days actually having this family and actually building it up well and for most of the past like nine months Paulina and Abe and Lonnie actually had some of the more better written stories on the show. So I appreciate that. Now, however, and this could be a spoiler alert, I don't know, but Lonnie and Eli will be leaving the show. And I don't know if Lonnie will end up in prison, which I think would be the wrong move, but it's definitely what Ron would do because he's a terrible writer. But either way, Lonnie and Eli will be gone. Which, by the way, Eli and other Horton that will be gone, which goes back into my original point. Like, there, yes, there are still some Hortons around, and I'm I'm talking about blood Hortons because uh, fuck Sarah. Sarah's a terrible character. Like, the fans wanted Sarah to be brought back for so long, Maggie's daughter, and then Ron has written her like utter trash. But like, other than that, all we have left is. I mean, Jennifer's not really even on the show. Hope's not on the show. Uh, so it's really like Allie and Will who comes and goes. 
who are some of the the Hortons that are even left around once Eli goes and now Abby's been killed off. So the Hortons have really been decimated, and I'm, I'm forgetting a Horton, but there's not a lot to go through. I guess Lucas is the other one, but he's also on recurring. So Days has really, and this, this has been going on longer than Ron, but they've really let the Hortons, who are the original family on this show, just kind of be decimated. And, and this is something that happened to Guiding Light. And it did not end up good for Guiding Light. But overall, with Days, it's it's not in last place this month. It could easily fall back down. I still think it's bad. The the Abby Who Done It's really poorly written, like everything else on the show. The 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 Sean falling for Jen, who essentially raped him. Really bad take from Ron here as well. But even so, it's very out of character for Sean to fall for Jen. This would never happen. It's just poorly written. Everything is poorly written right now. Like, Ron is clearly burnt out and needs to go. I don't know why some of the current soap operas refuse to let go of some of these writers and producers that are clearly burnt out and they need to move on from them. And the bad thing for Days is that even if they were to fire Ron anytime soon, they tape so far ahead that we, we would still be seeing Ron's writing for like eight months, practically another year. So we're stuck with Ron's bad writing, which I think is a really bad thing. It is what it is. Everything on the show is written poorly or played for a joke. Like they even had Leo make it seem like he and Sonny slept together. And that was kind of not played super seriously. Like they take these real topics that are big topics in real life and on social media, and then they play it as a joke constantly. I don't understand Ron's writing whatsoever over the past almost year now. It has been really bad, and I think he still needs to go, and I think Days still sucks, and I think the future for the show, if Beyond Salem ever falters for Peacock, I think Days of Our Lives is actually in serious trouble, because the ratings aren't good. But Days has always been the soap opera that uh, keeps on pushing through despite all the, uh, the bad negativities that it constantly does to itself.